Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today, guys, I want to share with you the top Safari extensions for iOS. So ever since earlier this year, when Apple introduced uh, iOS 15 at WWDC, they also introduced some new features. And one of those new features was is that Safari was going to get some love and that developers will be able to create extensions for it. So today I want to share with you guys some of the top extensions that you can go and download right now for Safari. So let's get started. So the first one is called Start Page AI. So Start Page AI is an extension that allows you to control uh, how many tabs you open in Safari. So what that means is that it will help you declutter your tabs. So if you have a lot of uh, a lot of tabs open, like a hundred tabs open in Safari, uh, what start what Start Page will do is that once you open another tab, it will automatically show all the tabs that you have opened, of course and it will show a delete sign on, on the side there so that you can also have the option to delete those um those tabs before you open a new one so that you have control and you don't have uh, like hundreds of tabs open which i'm guilty of uh, doing as well so yeah it's just a really really cool feature that allows you to control your tabs so that you're not anxious of having when, when you see the numbers like 100 tabs open um it will allow you to control it maybe the first 10 so that you can control your tabs and not have 100 tabs open but instead only have maybe five or ten open instead next we have is noir uh, so Noir is a cool extension that allows you to transform all Safari web pages into dark mode, the ones that don't support dark mode. So if you have dark mode already uh, by default on iOS, um, what Noir does, of course, is that when you're using Safari and you're surfing the web on Safari and you go to a website and it doesn't support dark mode, you can automatically run the extension so that it will automatically transform the web page to dark mode, which is fantastic uh, that the developer has created. Um, this uh, cool extension for it and so yeah now you have dark mode and you could be reading nicely on any web page now on Safari with dark mode right here next we have is video mode so video mode is a cool app it's a cool app and also extension that allows you to control your video players on the web page so uh, when you're watching YouTube or you're watching Skillshare videos or any type of videos pretty much on Safari, uh, you can run an extension to it so that you can see, you can control how fast you want the video to go, um, how much time is left in the video as well. Also, you could do picture in picture, which is really amazing that it supports it as well, the extension right there. So you could turn that video into picture in picture. And you could do so much other cool features also included with the, with the extension once you have the extension running and you're watching the video at the same time as well. Hyperweb is a one all-in-one extension pretty much. So Hyperweb is a simple extension that brings in, um, it will allow you the power to block uh, trackings on Safari. So if you're like me, you don't like to be tracked, you don't like uh, ads tracking you or companies tracking you so that like after like 10 minutes they're showing you ads of the product that you're researching or whatever. Um, so that's where Hyperweb comes in. It will allow you to customize it in the app um, is to block whatever uh, whatever type of content you don't want to see, whatever type of trackers you don't want to see, which is actually very useful, of course, if you have little kids to have this app installed because uh, so that you could control what they're seeing and where you don't want them to go as well. Next, we have this Web Inspector. So Web Inspector is a cool extension that allows you to pretty much edit elements on web pages. So this is very useful for a lot of people who want to edit elements on web pages. So if you want to edit uh, JavaScript commands or via or view networks as well, um, those are other uh, ways that you could use um, Web Inspector as well as a as a noob coder who only knows simple simple JavaScript and HTML is not going to be for me, of course, but for a lot of the coders out there and developers, this app is going to be useful, of course, for many reasons to customize other people's web pages uh, so that you can enjoy reading those web pages as well. Next, we have is Echo or I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Echo. So Echo is an extension that adds HTML Web Inspector to Safari as well. So ever since uh, Safari has been out, Apple has never added a Web Inspector to Safari. And so this app, of course, is priced at 99 cents, but it's actually very, very uh, useful for, like I said, for developers again, 
who want to see the uh, who want to expect who want to inspect uh, the code and the web of the web page that they're currently using and running which is really really cool once you see it running and how the how the extension works as well Next, we have Amplivision. So Amplivision is a the developer is by the developer who also created the Apollo third part the Apollo app, uh, the third party Reddit client, a very popular app. Um, the developer released a new app where um, you can actually now uh, stop from uh, stop AMP pages from loading and you see the original web pages of whatever site you're in so for a lot of people don't like amp pages for many reasons uh, because it makes it easier for third party uh, for third party ads to track you as well um, also it just it, it blocks a lot of the content uh, you, you don't see every all you don't see all the content since it makes the page load even though it loads faster the pages um, it's just not a really fun experience if you ever experience AMP pages and that's where implosion comes in and it will automatically um, stop uh, the AMP from loading and automatically move it to the default web page as well. And one of the cool features, of course, it has a widget that allows you to track um, how many times uh, the app has stopped uh, AMP pages from loading as well. And there's also a dog. Next we have is Apollo. So Apollo got a small little nice little feature. It supports uh, Safari extensions as well. And so every time you're surfing the web on Safari, you can now, and you see a Reddit client link, a Reddit link, um, you can now uh, just click on the Reddit link and it'll automatically open up to Apollo app and not a third party, uh, not, not another third party Reddit app or the main Reddit app. You can now have the option to automatically open it to Apollo. And next and not least, we have Good Links. So Good Links is a popular way to save links, and they also update their application to support Safari extensions in iOS 15. And in this one is where you can save links now, right from the extension. So right when you click on the extension, there's the Good Links extension. You just click it, and it automatically saves it uh, the link to the app, so that you could check it out later. The link that you save, you don't have to no longer open the share menu and then find the app to automatically save that link. Um, um, and bookmark it to the app. It automatically does it um, right from the extension. So those are the top right now new uh, ex uh, Safari extension apps that have been uh, coming out like since yesterday, ever since Apple released um, iOS 15 out there to the world. And probably we're gonna see a lot more Safari extensions out coming soon. So I will be making more videos about this, so don't worry. But for now, these are some of the best ones that you should go and check out right now if you want to feel if you want to be much more productive on Safari and really take advantage now of Safari and third party extensions as well. So that's pretty much it for now. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video so you can always know when a new iOS 15 video will be coming out soon. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.